Hello everyone and welcome to Idiotic Ultimara's Memoria Tutorial. This time around will be the skills of or showcasing the skills of the gnomes. But before that, uh, I want to show off the new memoria patch. Uh, I was hoping to finish all of the first ten episodes before um in one week before this patch came out, but I have not managed it. So yeah, I want to show showcase this patch off uh, before I actually start the next, before I start off this episode. This is episode 2. Uh, so, what's happened in this patch? Well, general stuff, uh, peaceful mode has been added when creating a new world. So when you see me create a world, now there's an option to do normal or peaceful. Peaceful mode means there's no enemies. Uh, underground enemies no longer spawn in areas that you can't have access to. So you can't, they won't spawn in a place that's like a cavern. They'll spawn in the cavern once you've opened up the cavern. Uh, rain has been disabled because it was causing a lot of lag. Uh, right click now cancels the selection. If you right click again, it cancels it. It completely cancels it. Um, holding shift while selecting uh, locks the selection in place. Uh, dig ramp uh, down. Dig ramp down selection is always locked in the same plane, so same depth the whole time. And just audio file size. Eh, it's meh. <coughs> what else? Uh, added a couple of new tiles to pickaxes, felling axes, sword, hand axe, hammer, shield, wood door, stone door, bandage, statuette, and commemorative coin pearls, and wheat and strawberry. This is to like show off each of the items a little bit more than what they were previously, uh, and also added equipped shield and hand axe. It's just because it just it's more of an aesthetic sense, uh, more than like it looking like rubble when it's on the ground. It's now actually looking like a bandage or like a pickaxe or something like that when it's on the ground. Uh, a couple of more bug fixes: um, crash on Alt Tab and other window drawing on top of the game window. Crash when a goblin dodges a trap. This these have been fixed. Uh, crash when characters are missing in text. Crash with loading, equipped items and resaving. Crash trying to boot your corpses that have decayed. Conflict when generating new nav graph IDs after loading a game. Bug when loading items that were created from butchering. Gnomes trying to use items they didn't have access to and no longer working. Items Items sometimes being on a different cell than it thinks. Digging stairs down on top of a mine job. A mine job eventually mined out stairs. Spawning, spawning golems of all material types instead of one random. Um, he also noticed that every time golems were spawning, they were spawning seven instead of one. So he wanted to fix that. And only one type. Uh, should be spawning over like seven different types or the two different types but seven of them anyway uh, that's the patch update um, and let's get on with the Nemoria the Nemoria skill or the gnome skills so I'll see you so let's uh, now explain all of the skills be right back okay so well the skills we will be going over are the task skills for this um, this video uh, and later videos I will go over what each of the attributes are for and what each of the combat skills are used for uh, so the mining skill is used for any uh, anything to do with mining uh, you have the mine stairs uh, mining digging stairs uh, any any of the mining situations, any of the digging situations, any of the removing ramps and any of the removing floors. So terrain, uh, if you go like into here, terrain, all of that requires the mining skill. The higher the mining skill, the quicker they are at doing that task. Um, masonry, 
will be is used for the stone cutters and stone masons workshop. Uh, stone carvery or stone carving is used for the stone carvers workshop. I'll explain what each of the workshops are used for in a later episode. Uh, wood cutter or wood cutting is used for cutting down trees. Um, carpentry is used in the sawmill and carpenter's workshop. Uh, wood carving is used in the wood carving workshop. Smelting is used in the furnace and uh, forge workshops. Blacksmithing is used in the blacksmith's workshop. Metalworking is used in the metalworking workshop. Uh, weapon crafting is used in the weaponsmiths. Armor crafting is used in the armory. Gem cutting is used in the gem cutters. Jewelry making is used in the jewelers. Weaving is used in the loom workshop. Uh, for the loom. The tailoring is used in the tailors. The pottery is used in the... Mm, I think... Wait a minute. The pottery... Ah! Pottery is used in the kiln. Um, blah 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 blah. Come on. Where was I? Uh, leather working is used for making leather in the leather works workshop. Tinkering. Uh, I think there's a couple used in different workshops. Oh, God. Mechanisms. So tinkering is used in the tinker bench. Um, machine shop is used, machinery is used in the machine shop, and I think, la 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 la, engineering and mechanics are both used in the engineer's workshop. Uh, animal husbandry is used for the pastures and dragging animals to the pasture. Butchery is used for the butcher's workshop. Horticulture is used for foraging um, food or from trees or bushes or something. Farming is used for farming. Cooking is used in the kitchen workshop. Brewing is used for the distillery. Construction is used for any building that requires constructing. This ca can be any table that you're placing any chair that you're placing, any workshop that you're trying to build, any bed that you're trying to place, so it's used for constructing anything. Um, and hauling is used in any type of hauling uh, to a stockpile, so any anything you're taking to a stockpile, you used hauling skill. Um, as each of these skills are increased, the efficiency at which they do the skill also increases. So once, like, say the ma masonry skill increases, uh, they get better at making uh, stone tables, per se. And I think eventually they can make legendary stone tables. Um, but they also get faster at it. Uh, that's the same with everything here. The higher the skill, the faster they are at doing it. Um, I don't... I think that's really it. Like, the next... The next um, episode will be used to like showcase a good starting build or a decent starting build. Um, and yeah, or no, the next the next mission the next video is professions. Um, so I'll showcase how to deal with professions, um, like creating new professions and. Um, e e editing existing professions because at the moment the miner has to do mining, masonry and stone carving but I would much I prefer to um, I prefer to specialise my gnomes some people don't like to specialise in gnomes however I do so like my miner I just want mining my mason I just want to do masonry my stone carver I just want to do stone carving uh, etc etc anyway um, I hope you found that relatively um, insightful helpful yeah um, it was I know it was really fast-paced but 
I can't think of anything to say to make this slower. Uh, I'm fast at talking sometimes as well, I'm sorry about that. So anyway, I'll be showcasing all the skills all over and over and over again every time I pick up a workshop, every time I choose a profession. And I think the next video is really short as well, because I'll just be showcasing how to create and edit an existing profession. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you all later. Have fun and goodbye.